Hey my Aquarius, welcome! In this video, not only I will be doing a review on Podgun 12, but you will also be able to see some gameplays on Mlock. I was going to do another tryout with Mlock, but not only doesn't seem to have much interest, I also think I have used it enough to give you a true review. So far, I have used it on Aegis, Bastion, Vortex and Mlock. I will keep trying it on other mechs and I will let you know if I find a worthy combo. From those, the best was Bastion, but nothing outstanding. Just to give you the base to my opinion, I think that for PvP in the current meta, there is only two relevant types of weapons. Direct and Radius Damage. And the more burst potential, the better they perform. With this in mind, where this weapon fits. Technically, it fits in the radius category, but the very sensitive uh, lock-on system and the lack of visual aid to tell if you are locked makes it very difficult to use. If you try to place them on the ground or structure close to your target, it will lock on and most of the times gets attached to places you don't want. It needs some space to make the curve work. And if your enemy gets close to the wall, it will land on the wall before the corner, making no damage. Also, the further the distance to your target, the harder it is to do the curve. The best way to use them is like the disc launchers with the lock-on. So, in radius category, the Storm, Missile Racks, uh, Cry or Nade Launchers, Disruptors and uh, Rocket Mortars perform better. What about the burst potential? Well, with the 2 seconds on players and 4 seconds on structures, there is not much in its favor. I mean, the damage potential is ok, around 216k not counting the double damage chances. In the right conditions, it should be able to take out the scout with a full magazine from both weapons. But I will give it a lower score based on the fact that it has a delay to do damage. What about its meta potential? With it falling behind so many other weapons in the previous categories, it's hard to find a niche for it in the meta. So the answer is nope. For some weird reason, even after what I have just told you, I find it fun to use. But this is a PvP oriented channel and for PvP I don't recommend it. I'm sure you can find some maps or spots where they are useful. But keep in mind, the goal here is to evaluate the weapon's potential in general use for PvP. This is my rating for this weapon. Let me know your opinion in the comments. If you enjoy it, subscribe for more. In the next video, you can see this weapon on Bastion. Go check it out. Alright, thank you for watching. See ya on the next one.